download my free legato course right now and learn to play fast in the fastest way possible. Hey, and welcome. I'm uh, going to talk about something that's, that's very important to get and preferably as early on in your development as humanly possible. Uh, and this might be holding you back more than anything else. You know, we can look around and see all kinds of stuff and you know, the number one thing and the mix mistake everybody makes. And it might seem like, a, oh, it's just clickbait. But sometimes you run into something that makes you go, oh, that might actually be holding me back. All right, so let's I hope these couple of minutes we spent together in this video will absolutely be that. Because how would you go about learning how to play chess? I, I, I can play chess because I know how to move these little pieces around. I know that the, you know, the horse goes like two, you know, and then, and the, the peasant, what, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what, what, what it's called in English, but you know, I know how to move the, and I know what it's about. That's basically it. I know how to move the pieces and I know what it's about, you know, but that doesn't make me a master. I could play chess like that for a hundred years and still I would get very little. I have to learn about the game, right? I have to learn about all the tactics, all the, because that's a really complex game that has a lot to it. But if I never study that, how good will I be at chess? And this is the same thing when you play guitar. You can learn the, you know, put your fingers here, that's a C major, you know, that's a D major chord, and that's a minor. You can play that song now. Eureka! Now you know how to move the chess pieces around, right? But you're never going to be a musician unless you study the techniques, the theory, all the, the, the you know, the, the fabric of what music is made of. Right? And the skills, like a carpenter, you know, you can learn to, first we learn to, in, in school, we learn to, to, to do a little boat, you know, like carving it out in wood or whatever, right? And then, but that's not going to make you a carpenter. Then you must learn about all the tools and the skills and everything that goes into it. And you must have a little bit of math and, you know, measuring things out and geometry or whatever, right? You, you learn all those things because you want to be a carpenter. You want to be a master at what you do, right? But so that really dawned on me uh, pretty quickly, actually. It was never a realization. I was just too, uh, uh, what is it called? I didn't want to learn all the songs. I didn't want to learn to play. That's all I know. I, you know, it's something down here, something, right? But I never learned pieces like that. Most people do that. It is a huge mistake if you're aiming to be a musician, if you're aiming to be a really great guitarist. You can do that for a hundred years, literally, and learn all kinds of little pieces, but you'll never, you know, you'll, you'll just be a, a thing, like a computer that can play a piece of music, right? You'll just monkey see, monkey do. But if you want to be able to play great solos, if you want to be able to, you know, perhaps influence some of the stuff you play, change it a little bit, add to what you play, or even write music yourself or create a riff yourself, you really have to take two steps back and start over again and say, okay, let me aim to be a musician because what you want to become, what you're aiming at means a ton. And to be conscious about that, what am I really aiming for here? Because people come to me and they've been playing for 30 years, right? And they tell me, why haven't I become better? But what are you aiming for? And they've been playing songs, they've been playing, you know, licks, they've been playing pre-composed little bits and pieces all their lives. And they can't understand why that doesn't take them to that place of being a musician. You must be interested in what is below the surface, like in chess. You, you have to be obsessed by that. I was lazy. So I had two years of, of traditional training, a teacher who told me to play Beatles songs and classical pieces, and that was pretty fun. But after that, I had no interest in learning anything like that for some reason, because I thought, why would I learn a piece like this? And then have to go all the, of putting my, and learn, that takes a ton of time. I could see that, right? And I have students who tell me, you know, I've been practicing that solo. I focused on that and I just played nothing but that solo. I chopped it up in little pieces and I played it for a year, but I still can't play it to its full extent, right? I can't really get through it all in a relaxed manner. It's because you're not practicing the techniques that goes into it. You're not practicing the, 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 the craft. You're basically trying to create that chair, you know, like 
woodmanship, whatever you call it, right? You're trying to create the chair, but you don't have the skills. And so building the chair, the specific chair, you hope that will give you the skills, but it doesn't. You have to step away from it and say, okay, let's carve a million little whatever, right? Let's try to learn this technique and focus on only that technique. That's what you need to do all the time. You practice something, boom, you, ran, you run into something that is hard. You step away from the song, the lick, the whatever, and you say, okay, I got a hard time with that bar chord with the added what, nine. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do this and then. Okay, uh, that was not good. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, again there. Okay, uh -huh. And then you loop that a thousand times before you step back to the song. But what that does, if you do that enough and with enough focus, is that you step away from the song completely or the solo that you're trying to play. And then you just get completely preoccupied with learning the freaking the mechanics of what, what goes on here. And that will take you, and I really recommend that you don't do what I did, which is play no songs, which is play nobody else's solos, but don't spell your way through an, a 16 bar solo, uh, note for note, without knowing what skills it comes from, without utilizing what you learn to play other things, without changing what you play. You know, never learn a lick without, you know, Getting everything out of it you can by improvising with it, changing it, changing the rhythm, adding new notes, ending it in a different way. That's the process of becoming a guitarist and not just a eternal intermediate who can just play what other people have created. The, the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because people suffer under this. And you say, yeah, I'll suffer. Yeah, they, they, they do. It's pretty bleak to be, you know, give up on your dream or your passion or not have that in your life anymore. So this is serious business, right? But we need to step out of that beginner zone where we think that playing music or learning to play music is learning to play songs. That's a beginner thing where we need results in the beginning, which is pretty cool, right? We, we learn to play a song and we can play something. We need that in the beginning, but then you mature, you grow up, and then you start focusing on building the skills of playing. And then you play a little on the side as well, just to put it into something practical, right? So I hope this was valuable to you, but just think about it. What are you really aiming for? Because you, if you're aiming for getting the, there are really two levels of playing. You can play what other people have played, or three, right? Then you can start really influencing that and start building your own stuff. And, and, and start building your own solos, composing your own solos and your own riffs. That's level two, right? And now you're a musician. And then that's the highest level of being able to produce music, play riffs, create riffs in the moment or create solos in the moment. Just forget about everything in your day-to-day -day life. Just hear the music play and then you just start speaking music. That is for me the highest level because that's the total, total pleasure. And I really believe that there's a certain amount of pleasure in playing other people's stuff and replicating what you hear. And then there's a second level, an even higher level of of pleasure found in creating yourself. And then the highest level of pleasure, really, it's really like, mm, <laughs> the third level is being able to create it in the moment. That takes some practice and some, mm, right? But it's really, it just becomes more and more fun, more and more pleasurable. So, uh, see you in the next video. I'm going to answer some questions here from, from the YouTube comments in the next couple of videos here. So, stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and go <laughs> download our free course uh, here underneath. Uh, and you also might f find something else down there that you might find interesting. Uh, so see you in the next video. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.